Hey guys, it's Elena and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I decided that I would just sit down and tell you guys where have I been, what have I been up to, what's going on, and all of that jazz. I just recorded a get ready with me, which I talked about it in great detail of what I've been doing while I was doing my makeup, but... It was kind of all over the place because I was doing my makeup and I'm the type of person that can't do two things at the same time. Like multitasking is not um, my strong suit. So I wanted to sit down and talk about it briefly because this video will be shorter than that one. So if you don't want to sit through that long ass all over the place video, you can just watch this one to get kind of like an update. Um, so I'll probably upload this one before that one because this one will be faster and easier to edit. So. Basically, I have been trying to focus more on my health lately, so I've just been really, really busy. I've been eating healthier and going to the gym now, um, or not now, but like I was doing in the beginning. So after work, I go straight to the gym, um, and I go to the gym every day. Um, I have like one rest day, which is the weekend. Um, so I'm going to just break down to you um, why I started and um, when I started and what has, you know, made me basically take a break from YouTube because it wasn't intentional. I didn't say I'm gonna take a break from YouTube so that I can focus on my health. It just happened because I don't have the time anymore to sit down and record. Um, so because I go to the gym every day after work, I work from 6 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. So I go to the gym straight after work. So I get to the gym about five something, six o'clock. And then I stay there for an hour or two because I do my cardio and my weightlifting. So that's why it takes so long. Um, and then I get home, shower, eat, and then I stay up for like 30 minutes and then go to bed. So that's my life. And that's why I don't have time to record after work. So I'm trying to now um, on the weekends record my videos, at least pre-record two or three videos, and then I can edit them and have them scheduled. Um, and then that should hold down my channel until the next weekend. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm starting to do that um, now, starting today, because I do realize that I've been neglecting my channel and I apologize to you guys about that. It sucks. But basically, um, last year, 2019, is when I started my weight loss journey. So if you go back to my Hydro Jug video, I have a Hydro Jug review video, you can tell that I look significantly thinner. I was 230 or 238 pounds in that video. I started my weight loss journey at like 280, 280. So I lost over 40 pounds in six weeks on my first time in 2019. I was working with a coach, um, which his name is RBN Fitness underscore on Instagram. I highly recommend him because he's just really supportive and amazing and it's super affordable and you get a meal plan and a workout plan designed specifically for you because you fill out a questionnaire and then you send pictures in and then he creates your plan based on you and your goals. So that's why I recommend it because it will be for you so you know that it's for you and you'll get the results if you do what you're supposed to do. So in 2019 when I first started my weight loss or my journey, my health journey, in the beginning of my eight weeks I wasn't hitting it the way that I should be because um, I was going to the gym and I was really like... Um, discouraged I guess because I was like I'm this really big girl and I'm going to the gym to do weights people are gonna be like she should be doing cardio and I was just really <clears throat> excuse me I was just really um, intimidated I guess you can say so in the beginning I was only doing um, mostly weights I know that kind of contradicts what I just said but in my head I was still thinking that while I was doing mostly weights because I just I hated um, just doing cardio you know I just didn't like doing cardio um, so in the beginning I would do mostly my weightlifting plan and then I would be slacking on my cardio so I would do like 10 or 15 minutes of cardio when in reality you should be doing 20 to 30 minutes of ca cardio um, and I wasn't doing that I was doing like 10 or 15 minutes before I, I just gave up um, so that's why I wasn't showing any progress in like 
the beginning of my plan. So then when it was time for my check-in, my coach was like, hey, Elena, you're not really showing any progress. What's going on, girl? And then we changed my meal plan to less calories. So I went from 2,000 calories, um, and then on my two-week check-in is when he was like, yeah, you're not showing any progress and you should be because at a significant amount of weight you'll drop like that and i wasn't so that's when he knew that something was going going on i wasn't doing my fucking cardio coach that's what was going on but anyway he put me on 1936 calories you have no idea how low that is until you're tracking it and doing it I was starving all the time, <laughs> okay? But that's just what it is when you're on a, cal a caloric deficit. When you go from eating whatever the hell you want and whenever you're hungry to a caloric deficit, you're gonna be hungry all the time, especially when you're hitting it hard in the freaking paint, you are going to be hungry all the time because your body is burning everything and all of that food, you turn into a black hole. So I was hungry all the time, but I was doing what I had to do. When I got that check-in and he put my my food lower, I was like, okay, okay, sis, we're not doing what we're supposed to be doing. We need to pick it up. So I started, I was so effing strict. You guys have no idea. Like, okay, this is how it was. I got my new meal plan. My workout plan stays the same. Your workout plan stays the same, but your meal plan will change if you're not showing any progress or he wants, he knows that you can do better, so he gives you less food. It's not a punishment, it's to help you because you have to, a caloric deficit is that you are burning more than you're eating. So if you are eating 2000 calories, you need to burn more than 2000 calories to lose weight. Because if you only burn 2000, you're gonna be in maintenance, which means your weight's not gonna go anywhere. You're gonna be maintaining your weight. So that's how that works. So it was easier for me um, when I got less food because I can burn that off easily. So I started doing my cardio. I was doing my 30 minutes of HIIT cardio four times a week, steady paced cardio for two times a week. So I would be doing cardio every single day, obviously, um, except for one day, because that's the rest day. So four times out of the week, I'd be doing HIIT cardio, the other two steady, steady pace. HIIT cardio, I highly recommend for weight loss. Steady pace, you know, can um, lose weight, obviously, or, burn fat, but HIIT cardio just burns it faster and better. That's why um, if you go do like classes and stuff, um, it's always HIIT because that's how you burn, you know, the most fat, HIIT cardio. But anyway, once I started doing what I was supposed to be doing, the freaking weight fell off so freaking fast. I'm gonna insert my progress pictures so that you can see from week one to week eight that I lost that weight. It's on my Instagram also, but in case you're not following me on there, I'm gonna insert it so that you can see um, that it's legit. <laughs> and then fast forward now to when we were quarantined in April when I got furloughed and the gyms were closed, I gained all of the weight back. So. I weighed myself this morning and I weighed 280 pounds. So I've gained all the weight back. Um, and that's my own fault because I just slacked like crazy. I just ate whatever I wanted. I didn't meal prep anymore. And then I wasn't going to the gym. I wasn't active at all. So it all came back. It all came flooding back like there was no tomorrow. So that's why I decided like we need to do something. I wasn't mad at myself when I weighed myself this morning because um, when I started the One Up Nutrition Challenge two weeks ago, um, I was 287. So I've already lost seven pounds, which I'm very happy and proud of myself. I also haven't eaten anything yet this morning. So um, yeah, I weigh myself on an empty stomach and in underwear. So you definitely, want to weigh yourself on an empty empty stomach um and in as less clothing as you can because then you're going to get your actual weight um but that's why you want to make sure that you don't beat yourself up when you don't show progress because not everybody is going to have the same progress like if you compare me to another person i dropped um, 40 pounds in six weeks another person can probably not lose that much and then they're going to get discouraged you have to keep in mind that when you weigh more, you're you're gonna lose weight faster in the beginning because you weighed so much and you're shocking your body. 
So you have to keep that in mind. Don't get discouraged if the scale isn't showing anything. You have to keep in mind the body composure. Your body composure will change when the scale doesn't. And that's why I try to tell people so much when they say that they've been working out and eating right, they haven't slipped up, they haven't done nothing that they weren't supposed to be doing, they did everything that they were supposed to do and they haven't dropped any weight or they've actually gained weight. You have to keep in mind that it could be muscle that you're gaining or maybe you're not eating enough. You could be on the wrong type of caloric deficit, which is why some people do need the coaching um, so that you can make sure that you're doing it right, the way that you're supposed to be doing it or eating what you're supposed to be eating, the amount. So you just have to keep in mind, like I was saying, um, you can have changes in your body and not on the scale if that makes any sense like you can drop a whole pant size and still weigh the same because your body composure it changes which is why i don't look like i weigh 280 pounds because i still weight lift and i still eat i'm basically eating maintenance which is not good okay because i don't want to maintain this body i don't i want to get healthier i want to be more fit and i want to be happier so because I oh I stayed weightlifting and I stayed eating healthy food is why I don't look like I weigh 280 pounds. Plus I'm also 5'8 or 5'9, so I'm always going to weigh in the 200s, unfortunately. So yeah, there's that. But I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys what I've been doing and where I've been. So that's what I've been doing. I've been focusing on my health, trying to get healthier. I've been trying to just, like I said a million times already, focus on that. Um, but if any of you guys are curious as to what my meal plan is, what my workout plan is, um, what supplements I take and why, then definitely comment down below and I will make videos on that. I think I'm going to do it anyway though, because I do, like I said in my get ready with me that you'll see if you watch that. I want this channel to be like a lifestyle channel of the stuff that I like to do, like my hobbies and stuff. Plus I've already had a couple of people say that they want to know like what I'm doing when it comes to like fitness and stuff and I do want to talk about supplements because there are um, positive and negative like arguments about supplements so I just want to give my opinion on those supplements are not necessary for weight loss or muscle gain but there are certain supplements that can help you um, in your journey so that's why I want to make a video on it and I've been taking supplements for a long enough time to where I can talk about them so yeah and i'm really excited to see what i can do this time around what now that i've gone through losing weight and then gaining it back and now that i have the mentality that i do where i'm like i know that if i don't stick to it it's it's just gonna come back you know and we don't want it to come back because it already has and we're already like no girl we gotta do something about it and we're gonna do what we need to do so that's that. I hope I don't sound crazy. I think I sound crazy because it's really hard for me to talk about the stuff that's in my head because I feel like it doesn't come out correctly. So hopefully you guys understand what I was saying or what I'm getting at. But um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below and I will happily answer them. Um, if it has to do with weight loss, I might save the question for a video that I'm going to do. If it has to do with that video that I'm going to do, because I do want to do a what I eat in a day type video. Maybe I'll do it like a vlog style. Uh, comment down below if you would prefer a vlog style, not like a I sit down like this and tell you what I ate today. I don't know how to do that, so just comment down below what you think would be better. Um, I do want to do a video talking about supplements, the supplements I take and why, which ones I re recommend, etc, etc. Um, I may start uploading workouts on this channel. I don't know if I want to do that yet. I don't know how comfortable I feel doing that. I definitely don't feel comfortable recording in the gym, so I don't really know if that's going to happen. But I can do home workouts. Um, if that would help some of you guys out, I can definitely do home workouts and upload them. Um, and yeah, so yeah, just comment down below anything that you would like that you think would be helpful and I would definitely get on that. Anyways, that's besides the point. I didn't want this video to be too long, but that's my problem. I go off and I talk forever and I just don't know when to shut up. So I'm sorry about that. But yeah, like I said, comment down below anything that you want to know or that you want to see videos on and I'll definitely do them. I love you guys so much. 
Thank you for watching this video and listening to me ramble on. It sounded kind of like nonsense, so hopefully what I was talking about makes sense. Um, I'll see you guys next time with another one. Please make sure that you like this video before you go because um, it definitely does help me out and I appreciate it. So I love you guys and I'll see you next time with another one. Bye.